Cooking is love. One of those really unique ways that a person can express creativity and community and gratitude all in one form of expression. You can give somebody a plate and they say wow. You can have them taste it and they say yum. That There's not that many forms of art that you can do that and it's really really special to be a part of that. They help you develop your own aesthetic sense of taste, flavor combinations. The phrase I use is, oh, I have a class with Dave tonight. It is going to be a flavor bomb. <laughs> Previous, we had a big dining room table that sat 10 people. We would sit down and share a family style meal. And not being able to do that has been really hard. That's what cooking is. It's it's making something for other people, you know, it's, it's establishing community. It's, it's bringing people together with one common interest, and that's food. I share most of these meals with my daughter, so, you know, you also then have that sense of giving in a time of much more limited social interaction than usual. And the giving, that's an important piece too. It's been really rewarding. We have new people now that we didn't know before. And now they're regular students with online classes. We never would have had them in an in-store class. Some of them have different situations where they need to be at home. And this just works better for them. And we're still able to make that connection with them. Hey, Vivian. Hi, Dave. How are you? It was nice to have that conversation. It's been especially important during COVID to um, have something that connects you with travel, with the rest of the world, with other nice people. Last week, when we were letting everybody into our Zoom class for the night, we were one person over. It just happened to be uh, one of our great customers. She had cracked a tooth and she wasn't able to eat last week. And so she was taking the class. She was very depressed. Her friend said, hey, why don't you take this class? She took it. She was very uplifted. Again, food is community. Food is very, very uplifting. And so even though she wasn't able to eat, even though she wasn't able to participate, she was able to get that sense of community. She was able to vicariously taste the dishes through other people's experience. And at the end of it, she wasn't depressed anymore. She was having a great time. And so it's little things like that that are just really, really, really good, not only for the spirit, but also for the body and mind as well.